Alrighty, it's 9 a.m. Time to get to work. Oh, there's a HubSpot task for me here. Associate all contact records to the TechMax company record. No problem. How many contacts do we have here? Oh my goodness! Wow, that's going to take... a while. I'll have to open up the TechMax company record, search for each contact individually, and associate them one by one. There are so many other things I could be getting done right now. Sure do wish there was a way to automate this task. Oh wait, there is. With associate, we can get all of these contacts associated automatically. Let's take a look at how to set this up. Automation plus HubSpot typically means workflows. So we'll create a contact based one. I want to associate contacts to the TechMax company if they have the company's domain name. But in order to do that, the contact's email domain property has to actually be filled in. So I'm going to set the enrollment trigger to contact email domain is known. Nothing fancy is needed here. I'll just add the associate contact action down below. Upon opening up associate, you might look at it and go, what? Relax, I'll walk you through each and every field, what they mean, and what associate will do with the information you enter into them. So let's say one of our contacts is Marco Ross. Marco works at TechMax and has the email domain of techmax.com. He enters our workflow and hits the associate action. Associate is then going to ask a series of questions. First off will be, what am I trying to associate Marco to? We can answer this question by entering in company to the associated object type field. This will make the app look at every single one of your company records. All of them. But look for what exactly? That's where the associated object property field comes into play. Earlier, I said I wanted to associate contacts to TechMax if they had the company's email domain. So I'll enter company domain name here. So associate is going to look at every single company record's company domain name and compare it with one of Marco Ross's properties. But which one? This brings us to the search value. I'll add the email domain property token under this field. Finally, if I want to add an association label, I can do it right here. All right, so in case I just sounded like Charlie Brown's teacher, I'm going to run through what will happen when this workflow triggers. Marco Ross's email domain property is techmax.com. In other words, it's known. So he'll enter our workflow and trigger the associate action. The app will then start going through our company records one by one. First on the agenda is the Monte Crispy Cereal Company. Associate will take a look at its company domain name property and ask, does this match Marco Ross's email domain property? Nope, it doesn't. So the app will move down the list. Eventually, it'll find its way to the TechMax company record. Hey, that sounds familiar. Like with every other company record, it will compare the company domain name to Marco's email domain. They match, so the association will be made. Keep in mind, you can use any properties you want to make the associations. I just used email domains as an example. As long as the properties you select have matching values, you're all set. Rinse and repeat this entire process for every contact that enters this workflow. It'll associate all contacts to their respective companies. The workflow has now given us a success status. Now, let's just check Marco's contact record and make sure he's associated to the... Wait a minute, where's the association? If you see this on your end, don't panic. Even after your workflow returns a success status, it usually takes around 3 to 15 minutes for associate to work its magic. You can check whether it succeeded or failed in your associate summary on your Happily portal. That's all there is to it. And this was but one use case. Tickets to deals? Associate can help. Custom objects to any record you can think of? Call in Associate. If two records can be associated, Associate can automate it for you. And you know it was built happily.